the mountain, God solely mountain, and sing the praises of the Lord our God. Come to the mountain, God solely mountain, and sing the praises of the Lord our God. Come tired, weary, all in pain, come join me in a sung refrain, simple hymn of love and praise that tells about my God. A shepherd kind is yoke, his light, his word and wisdom are delight, his guiding hand will lay. Is it me? This guiding hand will never is it me? Come to the mountain, God's holy mountain, and sing the praises of the Lord our God. Come to the mountain, God's holy mountain, and sing the praises of the Lord our God. My brothers and my sisters share a life of love beyond compare. Brotherhood and sisterhood are something more than words. But how can we who come from God not see the ties that make us one? A stronger still than all that divides us. Yes, a stronger still than all that divides us. Come to the mountain, God's holy mountain, and sing the praises of the Lord our God. Come to the mountain, God's holy mountain, and sing the praises of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we come together to celebrate this Eucharist, before we read the word of God and participate in this Holy Eucharist, let us recall to mind our sins, our failures, and we ask God pardon for all our sins. This Mass is offered for the Divavani TV Corpus Fund donor, Kamam Alponsama, for good health of Kamam Alponsama, and for the departed souls of Kamam. Raphael Reddy, come on Mary. Thanksgiving God for all the graces received by come on Alphonse Amman. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and for their intentions. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us all, forgive all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Store up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord. Are striving more eagerly to bring your divine word to fulfillment. They may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Night shall be no more, for the Lord God will be their light. First reading, a reading from the book of the Apocalypse, chapter 22, verses 1 to 7. The angel showed me, John, the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. Also, on either side of the river, 
the tree of life with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. They shall no more be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall worship him. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. And night shall be no more, they need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. And behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. To God. Chapter 21, verses 34 to 36. Jesus said to his disciples, Take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down, the dispiation and drunkenness and cares for this life, that they come 
upon you suddenly like a snare for it will come upon all who dwell upon the face of the whole earth but watch at all times praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the son of man the gospel of the lord thanks be to your lord jesus, jesus christ dear brothers and sisters the last day of the liturgical season of ordinary time the word of god is inviting us to reflect especially the first reading in the gospel the first reading taken from the book of revelation it speaks about two important messages important to things to us here in this revelation st john brings bring to us these two important messages of river of life and the throne of god in the first reading the word of god says he showed me a river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding from the throne of god and of the lamb revelation chapter 22 what is a river of life river of life god's life giving presence is river of life psalm 46 verse 4 and 5 we can read there is in a river whose streams make glad the city of god the holy place where the most high dwells river of river of life god's life giving presence is a river of life when god's presence is there within us god's presence is there in every aspect of life in every moment of life in every journey of our life in complete life of ours there in the life giving water the river of life flows from us the second message that we have the throne of god second chronicles chapter 18 verse 18 the prophet micah says <coughs> therefore the word of god i saw the lord sitting on the throne and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right on his left from the throne of god comes the judgment from the river of river of life comes the life giving source of the lord the presence of god and therefore we can reflect on these two aspects two important messages from the first reading of today taken from the book of revelation in the gospel of today we heard of the lord reminding us and his disciples first vigilant and prayer be vigilant always and pray vigilant at all times proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says watch over your heart with all our diligence from it flows the spring of life watch and pray is the theme of the gospel of today pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent in our life there are number of tribulations problems issues 
Only prayer can solve. Only prayer can help us. The word of God very clear. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Devote yourselves to prayer. Keeping alert in it with an attitude of thanksgiving. So my dear brothers and sisters, prayer is so important. Without a prayer life, without prayers, if we are expecting something to happen, then it's going to be difficult. First Corinthians chapter 16, 18, watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave and be strong. Dear brothers and sisters, let us take the two messages. One thing is from God, the throne of God, from the river of life comes the life to us. Mark chapter 13 verse 13 also adds to the same message. Take heed, watch and pray. For you do not know when the time is near. So dear friends, take this message on this day in a special way. We are concluding the, liturgically we are concluding the ordinary time and we are going to enter into season of Advent and therefore the prayer, the aspect of prayer should help us come closer to God. And when we have this aspect of prayer, the prayer life in us, the river of life flows within us and through us to the people around us. Dear brothers and sisters, let us offer our prayers to the Heavenly Father. God, Heavenly Father, we pray in a special way for your servant, Pope Francis, our Bishop, Pula Anthony, and all the bishops, clergy, and the nuns, and the catechists, and all those who love and serve your church so that the river of life may continue to flow in our hearts. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, we pray for the sick, those who are suffering in the hospitals at home because of numerous diseases. We pray in a special way so that you may your heart your hand may touch them and heal them. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. Lord, we pray for the vocations, the priesthood, and for the religious life, so that we may continue the mission that you have entrusted to all of us. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all those viewing the divine Divyavani channel and especially those who are asked to pray in a special way during this Holy Eucharistic celebration. We pray for them for their intentions and especially we pray for the people who are really looking towards searching for the word of God and searching for you. We also pray for all those who have gone before us so that they may receive eternal reward. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. In our silence, let us offer our personal prayers. God, Heavenly Father, we bring all our prayers and ourselves to your altar. Accept us and our prayers. We ask all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and, and glory of his name, name for our for good and good of all his poverty. church. Accept, O Lord, the sac sacred offerings which at our bidding we dedicated to your name, in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love and grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks to Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the world world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving you thanks, and he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. O oh, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Yes, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope. Ola Anthony, our bishop, and all the bishops and the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet in eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours forever Amen. and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof. My roof but, but only say, say the word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Soul of my Savior, Sanctify my breast, body of Christ, be thou my saving guest. Blood of my Savior, bathe me in thy tide. Me with water flowing from thy side, strength and protection. May thy 
thy passion be. O blessed Jesus, hear and answer me. Deep in thy wounds, Lord, hide and shelter me. So shall I never, never part from Thee. God and defend me from the former line in death's dread moments. May Call me and bid me come to thee on high, when I may praise thee with thy saints for Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participation in the divine mysteries may never be a parted from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Virgin Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth, assumed into heaven and after life, immaculate in your birth, we come to you, dear Mother, imploring help and love, that through our lives we rise from earth to things of heaven above. That through our lives we rise from earth to things of heaven above. We are your children, Mother. Keep us ever in mind. The delimitation of your life, the place of heaven we find. We come to you, dear Mother, imploring help and that through our lives we rise from earth to things of heaven above. That through our lives we rise from earth to things of heaven above.